Okay, we're going to get into a bunch of different post moves here in a second. But first, I want to talk about reading your defender and where their position is to you. So if I catch the ball and I'm on this side of the floor, and if the defender is on like my high side right there, they are giving me a baseline spin. That's on if, if they're on like the high side. Now, if they're on the low side of me, now I've got to be able to catch it and read that now this middle drive is open. If they're playing straight back on me and they're right in the middle, well, that's when you've got to be able to play off of a face up. You've got to be able to play off of a back down. Um, but if they are leaning too far up or too far back, you've got to be able to recognize that immediately and attack it. Now, as we're working on these moves, we're going to stick mainly on the right side, but make sure with all these moves, you can be working on these moves from the low post, you know, all the way down here on the block. You could be working from the mid post in this area. You can work from the right block or from the left block, wherever. Make sure you're switching spots. But we're going to mainly focus on the right block for these moves. But what we're going to do now is just go through a bunch of different post moves. So you'll be feeding him. And then Jake, you're going to do a bunch of different post moves. The first series of post moves that we're going to do is off of no dribble. So you're just going to catch it and not, no dribble at all, go right up into your move. Okay, so the first one is going to be a right-handed hook shot. Okay, so let's just do that. Catch it, no dribble, you're going right up into a right-handed hook shot. Okay, now let's go left-handed hook shot, and you probably just catch it right in front of the rim here. So we went right-handed hook shot, now we're going left-hand hook shot, no dribble. There we go. Now we're going to go with a turnaround hook shot. So this means you're going to catch here, look on your inside shoulder. So we just went this hook shot, but now you're going to turn around and go the opposite way. So let's go left-handed right here, then we'll do right-handed in a second. So look over your inside shoulder. Yep, there you go. So that's a turnaround hook. Now let's go the other way. Yep, so you can just catch it right there. So now you're going to look over your left. There you go. So that is your turnaround hook shot. Now we're going to go with an up and under. So you're gonna give a good shot fake, catch, good shot fake, up on the shot fake, then you're going under, good. Now let's go up and under, finish with your inside hand there, now go outside hand. There we go, good, so that's up and under. Now we're gonna go, now we're going fake spin to your right, yeah, so just turn your shoulders and hips, there you go. Now we're gonna go fake spin to your left. Good. Now we're going to go face up. You're going to go shot fake, shot. So he faces up, shot fake, and then shot. Good. Now we're going to go dribble. You're going to catch it super deep, dribble away from the basket into a jump shot. So this is against a big, super big defender that you're smaller than. Okay, go ahead. So you're catching it. Now just kind of dribble out. Good. A couple more dribbles. There you go. So that's just dribbling out into a jump shot. So now you're just going to you're just going to bang basically just you know into the defender two or three dribbles and then you're going to shoot. So you're just it's just called bang. You're banging that defender, getting them low into the post. So Taha, you got to be strong right here, okay? Ready? Go. So you're just hitting three or four different dribbles. There we go. Good. Go again. Now let's go left hand. Let's go left hand from this side. Then we'll go back to the other side. So get three or four dribbles here. Taha, you can foul him or like be super aggressive just for the drill here. Yep, there you go. Good. There we go. Good. Okay, Taha, you can go back there. So that's just banging with the defense, basically. All right, now we're going to go power finish. So you're going to take two or three dribbles, get on two feet really strong, and then you're acting like you're going up through the defender. So this is just a two-foot power finish. Good. There we go. Good. Now let's go catch it right here, and now power finish the other way. Good. Now let's go attack middle to a hook shot. So catch it in this area, maybe one or two dribbles, then you're going to go hook shot right there. There we go. So you're going to pop out, catch it here. You can catch it. Sometimes you'll be outside the three-point line. Sometimes you'll be right into it. But you're going to be right here, and you're going to back down your defender all the way into the paint and then do whatever move you want. So we're just backing down the defender from the post right here. You want to make sure you can see the whole floor still. 
Yep, backing them down, finish however you want. Now we're gonna move into our off the dribble series with shot fakes. So you're gonna go off the dribble here, you're gonna go shot fake, defender's gonna jump in the air and you're gonna draw a foul. So I'll just barely jump and you're gonna jump into me a little bit, okay? So a little dribble middle? Yeah. Okay. All right, shot fake, or dribble, dribble. Shot fake, yep. That's all right, but the defender would jump into you, hit you, hopefully jump at the shot fake, then you can draw a foul. So now we're gonna go shot fake step through. So this is similar to the up and under. Off the dribble series. Yep, there we go. Shot fake, step through, good. Now let's go left hand with that. It's the same thing, two dribbles, shot fake, step through, outside hand finish. Now let's go shot fake, shot fake, reverse pivot. Shot fake, reverse pivot. Off the dribble series, shot fake, reverse pivot. There we go. Now we're on to shot fake, slight fade away. So take two dribbles in, shot fake, then you're doing a slight fade. There we go. Now we're on to our drop step and spin series. So the first move that we're gonna do is you're gonna fake this middle drive and then plant and you're gonna go drop step right there. So it's not really a spin move. As you take this drop step, you're taking a dribble as you drop step. Yeah, well, well probably two dribbles, two. yep. Then as you take that drop step, you can take another dribble if you want. Yep, so you're dribbling middle, boom, there we go, drop step. Okay, so now you're not even gonna fake to the middle. You're just gonna catch it, take one power dribble on the drop step. Not even driving towards the middle. Yep, there you go, good. So there's just your regular drop step. Now let's go quick spin on the baseline. So you're gonna catch, and then just quick spin. You gotta be able to do these without traveling. Yeah, there you go. Good. And the key here on that quick spin is like a drop step, your low foot here goes backwards, but on the quick spin, your inside foot is gonna go forwards and go around into that right there. So that was the quick spin. Now this one is, we're just talking about changing the angle of your dribble. So we'll say that, um, catch the ball here, so go ahead and pass it. Let's say the post player tries to spin and drive baseline, but I cut them off. We wanna be able to not pick up the dribble. We wanna be able to maintain the dribble. So what you're gonna do is spin, go from a left hand dribble to a right hand dribble into a scoring move. So you gotta be able to spin while you're maintaining your dribble. Go from a left hand dribble, that cuts you off there. Now, yep, there you go. Now you're going into your right hand dribble. Now we're gonna go fake drop step off the dribble. So you're gonna catch, dribble here, you're gonna dribble and fake this step and then keep posting up. So you're just doing a fake drop step. You're gonna have a couple dribbles here. There you go, yep, fake that drop step, then you're scoring in there, yep. Now you're gonna go, we're saying the defense is on the inside of you. So you're gonna have two or three dribbles, you're just bang, bump the defender, then you're gonna spin right here into a jump shot. You'll probably be shooting it from short corner. All right, so two, three dribbles, then you're spinning baseline. There you go. You can shoot it off the glass or you can go for a swish. Now you're gonna do the same thing. So you're bumping against the defender. You'll probably catch it outside the paint. So two or three dribbles, then you're gonna turn and do a hook shot. Okay, so you'll probably be a little closer on this one. So two, three dribbles, bumping the defense on the inside. Yep, then you spin away into a hook shot. Now we're gonna go fade away on the baseline side, so we did Jumpers off the spin, we did hook shot, now we're gonna do fade away. So two or three dribbles on the inside, then you're going fade away towards the corner. Yep, there you go, good. Okay, now we're gonna go Hakeem Olajuwon, dream shake. So you're gonna catch, yeah, now you're just kinda of rocking your shoulders. So you're gonna bounce, and you can go pick it up, you're gonna pick it up, fake spin either way, and then score however you want. So you're basically just shaking your body to confuse the defense. Yeah, there you go. Good, let's do that one more time. Good, there we go. Now this move is just a low power dribble. So the post player, you can have you know one or two normal dribbles, but then you're gonna pick it up low off the ground, and as you're picking it up, you're trying to jump and cover a lot of space. So this is just a low power pickup. 
take two or three dribbles. There we go. And that's a good move to get low, force your body to get low, get by the defense. Let's do that one more time. Let's do that one more time. Try to get even lower on the pickup. Try to get as low as you can on the pickup. There you go. Good. All right, now we're going to move to our face-up series. And off of the face-up here, we could go, and you'll mix it up on all these, but you can go front pivot, you can go reverse pivot. Sometimes you may want to pivot off your left foot. Sometimes you can pivot off of your right foot. So you want to mix up which foot you're pivoting off of, and then if you're doing a front pivot or a reverse pivot. Um, so you're going to post up, you're going to meet the pass. So off of the low post, we'll probably catch it somewhere in this area right here. Then we're just facing up. So this is our face-up moves. The first one we're going to do is a regular shot. Good. Now we're going to go bank shot. So face up, hit the jump shot off of the glass. Going for a bank shot right here. There we go. Good. Now we're going to go jab. So face up, just jab. Then you're going to uh, drive right by the defender. You can jab at, you can jab to the side, you can jab across your body. Go ahead. Jab however you want. There we go. So jab, go by the defender, good. Now we're gonna go jab and shot. So you're gonna jab, shot, no dribble. Face up, jab, get the defender off of you, right up into the shot, that's all right. Now we are going to go multiple jabs and shot. So you gotta have at least two jabs, do three jabs right here. So we're facing up, there's one jab, there's two, three, yep, defense lays off of you, then you shot. Good. A lot of times, multiple jabs will get the defense jumping back and sliding, and it kind of slows your game down. So there's the multiple jabs. Now we're going to go jab, shot fake, shot. Again, you can use any sort of jab here you want. Jab, shot fake, shot. Good. All right, now we're going to face up. We'll catch here. Now we're kind of further outside the paint. But you're going to dribble at the defense, and they retreat, and then you're just going to have a small little step back into a jump shot. So the idea here is that the defense is backing up. Yeah, so it'll be like this. You dribble at, the defense backs up a lot, and then you just go straight into the jump shot. Okay? There we go. All right, now we're going to do a, a side step. So you're going to catch. You just kind of, kind of look, and you can go either way, left or right. But you're going to take one dribble, and then off to the side. So you can go, you can go that way either way. But just one dribble, side step, pound dribble, side step. There you go. Create space from the defense. Good. So that's that's got to be a quick move that you get off quick. Now we're just going to go face up, drive baseline, reverse layup. Face up, drive on the baseline side. Reverse layup, good. Now let's do that, but go we'll finish with your left hand now. Face up, drive baseline, finish with your left hand. There we go, good. All right, now we're gonna go, you're gonna fake the reverse layup. So it's like you, same thing there, face up, you're gonna fake here, and then you're gonna step back on the other side to the rim. So we're going to face up, drive baseline, fake reverse layup. All right, so another jab that we can do is like a, it's like a load step. So you're not really jabbing at the defense, but you're going to catch it. And instead of jabbing forward or jabbing to the side or jabbing across, now you're just going to step back. So what this is going to allow you to do as you step back with a jab, so you're just hit, having this load step. Now you could step into it and hit a jump shot. Now you have this step where you can just drive by the defender, or you can also go from here into a jab. So let's go um, load step, we'll go shot, drive, and then jab. Okay, so this is the load step. Let's go shot, step into your shot, there you go. Load step, now we're just going to go drive. So really explode out of it, that foot's back, there we go. Drive, now we're going to go jab. Load step, jab, jump shot. There we go. Good. All right, now we're on to our short roll series. So what happens sometimes on a ball screen is that the screener will set a screen. 
So they'll set the ball screen, and then they will roll, pick and roll. That's what that comes from. They roll all the way to the rim. In this series, we're just working on a short roll. This is a really effective move only if you play with a great shooter. So if the ball handler is a really good shooter, what's going to happen is that good shooter is going to come off the screen and bring defenders up away from the three-point line, and that's what leaves this short roll open. And one of the reasons why a short roll works is just walk through it right here. Um, so set that screen, good. All right, stop right there. What will happen is help defense will rotate over to this spot right here. And if this player just rolls all the way to the rim, go ahead and pass it to him. Rolls all the way to the rim, keep dribbling, or just like, yeah. If they catch it right there, what's going to happen is the defender will take a charge right here or get a steal. So this short roll avoids that. And then what the short roll also does is, yep, if we catch it there, now this low help defender, they can step up and that leaves somebody on the baseline open. The Warriors and the Hawks are really, really good at this. So what we're going to do is just work out of a couple of moves out of the short roll. The first move we're going to do out of the short roll here is just a basic jump shot in the foul line area. Okay? So ball screen is set, short roll, don't roll all the way to the rim, square up to the ball, go into a jump shot. Good. So that's the first move. Now the second move we're going to do is a shot fake into a drive. Okay, so short roll, let's say we shot fake, defender steps up, jumps to that shot fake, go into a drive. Good. Now we're going to do, this is a, this is the hardest one, we're going to do a floater. So you're going to catch it off the short roll, one dribble, floater. That's all right. Now we are moving on to DHOs, which just stands for dribble handoffs. So this is our dribble handoff series. And the first point that I want to make with the dribble handoff is that you should be thinking of it just like a ball screen. And that means as you're going into the dribble handoff, the point is you got to dribble at the defender. So if we're trying to get this offensive player the ball and I'm on defense, you don't want to dribble at the offensive player. Go ahead. Dribble at the offensive player because now – the offensive player is going to be running into the post player. So instead, you can restart there. Instead, the key on the dribble handoff is dribble at the defender. And now, yep, you can turn or set a screen. Now the defender has actually run into the screener. So y'all can reset. So that's just the first point to make. The second one is you can either pitch ahead and then go into a ball screen, or you can do a straight handoff. So a straight handoff would be dribbles in, Jump stops or gets on two feet, hands it off. Okay, reset. Or you can take, just do one dribble and pitch ahead. So one dribble, pitch ahead, you know, slightly pitch it ahead, and then you can go into a ball screen slash handoff there. So those are the two options that you can do. Now we're going to work on some moves out of the DHO. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to go up and actually imagine, like, Pretend like we're handing the ball off, but then you're going to take a dribble and drive in. So this would be where both defenders guard the cutter. Okay? So keep your dribble alive. Fake the handoff. Yep, there we go. Then we're driving it in. Good. So then we're going to go building off of that. Fake the handoff. Now you're going to dribble into a post up. Okay? So we're going handoff. Fake the handoff. Now we're dribbling into a post up. Good. Now we're going to go fake handoff. He's going to cut. We're going to say both defenders are in the paint or they're just away from you. Fake handoff, square up, shot. Yep, there we go. Good, both defenders would go with the cutter there. Now we're actually going to hand it off to them. So we're going to make this handoff. You'll take one or two dribbles, then you're going to spot up for three. So now we're going handoff into spot up jumper. There we go, good shot. Now we're going to go handoff, and now you have to find your defender, or to find a defender in here, find them, create contact in position, and then we're going to feed the post out of that. Okay, so make the handoff, good. Find that next defender, good. Create position, good. Now we're going to do like a counter move. So instead of the person handing the ball off, setting the screen, the cutter is going to set the screen. So to be able to do this, you got to be a good shooter. So Taha, what you're going to do, instead of getting the handoff, you're going to go below the handoff. You're going to step behind and shoot a three. Okay. 
Now we're going to go, last one here, last move that we can use, is you're going to go hand off. So you're going to take two dribbles that way, keep your dribble alive, and then we're going to follow it with a ball screen and roll. Okay, so this is a handoff into a ball screen. Good, take two dribbles, now go follow him. Good, now we got a screen and roll. Very good. Now we're gonna move to our jab series. Of course, with all these jabs, be able to, you wanna be able to pivot off your left foot and step with your right foot and vice versa. You wanna be able to pivot off your right foot and step with your left foot. So be working on all combinations of footwork with that. You can use these off of a front pivot so that's where one foot, again, is gonna go forward. You could also do a reverse pivot. That's where a foot goes backwards, or it would be more like this. Catch it, reverse pivot and face up. Um, but we are going to work on shot fakes here and jabs. We'll start with jabs. Um, one thing about the jabs as you're working on those is you can use your jabs to read the defense. So let's say, Jake, I posted up on you. All right, I got a post feed. I'm at the pass. Now I, re I reverse pivot and face up. From here, I'm using my jabs to make different reads. So I could go, if I jab at him and he goes back, now I can know next time he's, go, he's gonna play back, I can jab at and shoot. I could also do, like if he's squared up on me, let's say you don't bite at this jab. So if I take a side jab and that defender doesn't move and I'm making a read, well now I'm thinking they're not moving. So I can use it and go by them. So you can use these jabs We'll go through a couple different ones to read your defense. If they're reacting to it or they're going backwards, you can pull up. If you're jabbing and they're just staying still, you can drive by them. We're going to go through a couple different jabs here. So the first one you're going to do is a jab. Instead of sweeping the ball on your jab, you're going to keep it on your hip. So you're just going to jab like that and then just hit a short little jump shot. Okay, so this is a jab with the ball on your hip. Ready? So you can face up either way. Yep, you're just jabbing and you're keeping the ball on your hip. Now let's go jab and you're gonna sweep the ball. So you're gonna sweep. You kept it on your hip last time. Now you're gonna jab and bring the ball down with you right here. Jab and sweep. There you go. And the key here is you wanna bring that ball down to your knee, down to your knee as if you're about to rip it and actually drive it. Now we're gonna go jab at, so you're gonna catch it and instead of jabbing to the side, you're gonna jab at the defender. You can go one or two times and then just hit a jump shot. So this is jab at. You're jabbing straight at the defense, yep. Good, good patience there, good shot. I'll demonstrate this one so you can post feed to me. Now we're gonna go with a double tap jab. So this is, most jabs are just one step and then you're coming back. Well, now we're gonna tap twice, so we're gonna go tap, tap. We're gonna go slow and then big jab. So let's just do that one. Okay, so this is a double tap jab. There you go, good. Now, next jab, we're gonna go kinda like a pass fake above your head, and it's gonna be a big sweep from the top of your head all the way down to your knee, like that. So you're playing from high to low, do like two or three, and then you can go into a scoring move. Yep, so, yep, you can use pass fake all the way down, good. Above your head again, yeah, there you go. So this is just a bigger sweep all the way from your head down to your knee. All right, so another jab that we can do is like a, it's like a load step. So you're not really jabbing at the defense, but you're gonna catch it, and instead of jabbing forward or jabbing to the side or jabbing across, now you're just gonna step back. So what this is gonna allow you to do as you step back with a jab, so you're just hit, having this load step. Now you could step into it and hit a jump shot. Now you have this step where you can just drive by the defender or you can also go from here into a jab. Now we're gonna go jab, pause, attack. So we're gonna say, you got the post feed, okay, I'm your defender. You went with a jab and I didn't bite. So now you're gonna go again and you're gonna jab, kind of pause and then explode out of it, yeah. So that first jab, we're using the first jab to read the defense. They don't jump back. Now we're going back to our position. Now we're gonna jab again, pause here for just a second, and then rip out of it. Okay, and I'll just pass I'll it to you. I'll throw it out. Oh, okay. you play me. No, I'll just, I'll just stay in there. Here we go. Jab, reset, jab, pause, and go, good. 
Yep, so use that first jab to read the defense. All right, so now we're just gonna talk a couple points about shot fakes in the post. So the keys to a good shot fake, well, let's start with a bad shot fake. A bad shot fake is a player gets it and the fake looks nothing like their shot. So they, you know, they might do this, they might throw their head back. I don't know, it just doesn't look like their shot. So the key on a good shot fake is if I shoot it like this, and this is what my shot really looks like, on your shot fake in the post, you want it to look exactly like your shot. So you just saw how I shot it. Now with this, I wanna be able to make it look exactly like my shot, and then I'm gonna go by the defense. So in the post, um, you're usually dealing with slower defenders because they're post players. So you can have a good high shot fake where your body comes up and then you drive by them. So let's work on that right here. You, you can pivot either way, make it look just like your shot. Ball's gonna go above your head on the shot fake right here. Okay, and you can just start at the block and then pop out to catch it. Yep. Make it look just like your shot, good. Yep, and then you drive by them. There we go. Now let's go even higher. So like get the ball up, almost like right to where you're gonna release it and then you can drop and drive. There you go. Good. So just make sure on your shot fakes, it looks realistic. It's gotta look exactly like your shot. One other super important point on shot fakes is your eyes. So I, th I think that you can have a bad shot fake, like the ball could be on your hip and you could not even look like your shot but as long as your eyes get big and you look right at the rim, I personally think that and the ball going up are the most important things. So make sure on your shot fake, when you are looking, I'm sorry, when you're shot faking, you can't have your eyes down at the ground and ball goes up. Eyes gotta be big and you gotta be looking like this. I think that's when the defenders are most likely to jump. So make sure you're doing that with your shot fakes. Now we're gonna uh, rip the ball by the defense in two different ways. The first one is a low rip. So we're gonna, that's usually if the defense's hands are up, we're gonna rip it low and drive. And then the second one is if the defense's hands are down, we're gonna rip it high and go into a post up move. So right here, let's just go with a low rip. Still in the face up series. So we're gonna go, yep, there we go. So we ripped the ball low. Let's do that again and try to get even lower. Try to get as low as possible, low as you can. There you go. Good, ball down to your knees, good, that's the low rip. Now we're gonna go high rip, so we're gonna catch, face up, rip the ball high, and then you can take two or three dribbles or drive it. Good, there we go, good. Now this time, rip it, rip it fast, and go right into your dribble. Yep, so high rip, you gotta go right into your dribble as you rip it. Yeah, into a post move. Yeah, there you go, good. There we go, good. So that's the low rip and the high rip. Now we are talking about on the catch, meaning when you're in the post, again, could be short corner, could be block, could be high post. A, a good guiding principle is called chin, check, and score. So what this means is, let's say I'm trying to create post position, I get the ball entered into the post, and now I catch the ball. Obviously. Like if your defender jumped the pass and you can score quickly, that's good. But when it comes to chin check and score, this is gonna help your pace and your ability to see the floor. So you catch the ball into the post, they just pass it to you. First thing you wanna do is chin the ball. So now you don't wanna have the ball here outside the frame of your body because then a defender could get it. You don't wanna have it low because then a perimeter defender could dig down. You wanna chin it, so that's protecting the ball. You wanna check the floor, so this means you are gonna see the floor before you do anything. Too many players, what they do is they catch, dribble right away, and they didn't see the floor. Because by seeing the floor, now if you can chin, check the floor, if you might have a back door cut, you might have somebody open for three, you might be getting a double team, and you've gotta be able to see those things. So it's chin, check, and then after you see what the floor is like, now you're gonna score. So this could mean you go one-on-one, -on -one, you could back them down, face up, whatever. Or score could also mean if you get double teamed, you kick it out to a teammate and help them score. So the key there, key term is chin, check, and score. If you follow that, it's gonna help your pace and your decision making. Now another key is you gotta have self-awareness and you gotta know your matchup. So if you are a super tall, super strong post player, 
then you probably want to just back down your opponent as close to the rim as possible and try to bully them. If you're smaller but quicker, usually what you want to do is catch it and be further away from the basket and now you can use your quickness and you can use your speed and your ball handling to get by your defender. So if you're good at both, then you can score either way. But you've got to know your matchup so that you can get into a position where you're more likely to score. The next point is that you typically always want to have your chest and your vision to the whole floor. What some post players do is they will catch it here and now they might back down their player or their opponent, but their back here is to the rest of the floor. So the problem with that is if I have my back to all the help defense and I'm dribbling like this, well, I'm not gonna see a defender. They could step down and double team me. So usually what you wanna do is if you catch the ball, you always want to have your chest and your eyes to see the rest of the floor so now you're not turning your back and losing sight of help defense. You can see the whole floor and now make reads. It's a similar thing up top. So if you catch the ball at the high post, you almost never want to back down a player like this from the, from the foul line or high post because you'll have help defense coming from either side and you won't be able to see them. So make sure you keep your chest and your eyes up to see the entire floor. Now, on the catch, you want to be patient. That's one of the keys to good post plays, to good post play. So when you catch it, there's a couple different things you can do to be patient. One thing is just to pass fake. So you may catch the ball, you got a defender on you. One thing you can do is give a pass fake either way. So you can look up top, you could face up and look opposite. What's that, what that's going to do is freeze help defenders because um, there may be a help defender who's coming down to trap. But then if you can pass fake, they may retreat out of it, and it's also going to slow your game down. So the first thing you can do is pass fake. The other thing you can do is just simply face up. So you could go reverse pivot, which is where one of your feet goes backwards. You could do a front pivot, which is where one of your feet goes forwards. You can also use a shot fake to buy your time. So after you face up, you can look here and go shot fake. That's going to slow you down and give you some patience. And then the other thing you can do is just a fake spin almost, and we'll get into more of these moves. But if I'm posted up here, I could, I could kind of fake spin and play with my shoulders or fake, fake a drive this way, but I'm just moving my body to keep the, to keep the defense off balance and alert um, so that I can create more patience for myself. Now, one more point about patience is when you're dealing with cutters. So Jake, let's just say you're the post player on this side. Now, if I feed the post, and we're talking about patience on the catch, if I feed the post and I cut off of this post player and this post player wants to go one-on-one, -on -one, this post player needs to wait until the cutter gets all the way out to the opposite side. What a mistake, a mistake that a lot of post players make is they will receive the pass and then this player may cut and they dribble right away. Well, there's a problem with that because I am bringing my defender with me, and now if I'm here, I've got a defender here, and then the post player has a defender, that's four players all in one small spot. So another key to patience is if you get a post feed and the passer cuts, let the passer cut all the way through and get out to the opposite side or wherever they're going, see the floor, and then make your move. Okay, now we are on to our post play series. Our post play series, we're going to do offense and defense. So first we're going to cover the basics like positioning, both with your body and with your hands, but also different spots on the floor. And then we will get into some specific moves and drills and things like that. So the first thing that post players need to think about is creating position or creating scoring opportunities before the catch. A lot of post players, they'll, wherever they are on the floor, whether it could be the elbow, it could be the low block, they just kind of stand there and they're not seeking contact, they're not trying to get open. But a good post player is always kind of thinking, how can I either create position or how can I create position for a teammate to score the basketball? So you've always got to be thinking, um, what can I do to help my team get position, whether for me or somebody else? So the positions on the floor that we'll go over, and I can, I'll hold the ball here, Jake. The first one is the dunker spot. So the dunker spot is on the baseline. 
your heels are as close to the baseline as possible and you are squared up to the basket. This is normally out of a dribble drive offense. And the idea behind the dunker spot is if I'm the defender on this player and I'm all the way back here defending them, well, that's good because now you have all this space in the paint open for your teammates to drive. On the other hand, if I'm the defender and I stay up here, well, now he's able to play behind me and also create rebounding position. So the first spot, of course, all these spots could be on either side of the floor, but that's the dunker spot. Now let's just go low block. So the other one is the low block. So that's right here on the block on the floor. Um, you want to get good position, show your hands, all that stuff that we'll talk about in a second. So you got low block. You also have high block or high post. So that could be somewhere in this area right here. Yep, it could be high block. And then it could be all the way up to the elbow. A lot of players, post players, they play through the elbow where they'll have the ball passed to them right here. And then an offensive player may cut off either way off of the elbow. Um, that could be out of chin offense, a bunch of other stuff playing out of the high post. All right, short corner is, is another one. This isn't dunker spot. Dunker spot is back to the baseline. Short corner is you're kind of squared up to the basket. So you're still going to be in that area, but you'll even be kind of higher. Dunker spot is you're close to the baseline as possible, but short corner is more you're kind of just right inside the three-point line. So you've got to be able to play from that spot. Um, we talked about the elbow. Now the nail, which is right in the middle of the foul line, this is a spot to play from as well. You can either, you could receive a pass from the perimeter and then face up. You may even post up kind of in this area right here, but receiving the ball and being able to pass out of the nail or foul line area is somewhere you got to play from. Um, the other place that you got to play from is the top of the key because in transition, and we'll talk more about this a lot of times, point guards will get ahead of the ball, they'll get into the paint, and then the post player is the one who passed it in out of bounds from there, so they'll flip it back and then they'll play from the top of the key. And then the other one, and we won't show right now, but the other one is being able to play out of ball screens and we will talk more about that. So those are the different positions you want to be able to really master out of being a post player. Now if you're, you know, if you can play off the perimeter and do certain dribble moves, that's great, but those are just the basic positions that you need to cover. So we're going to talk about creating position now and Jake, just go to the low block. So these, all these points could be from any of the positions that we just talked about. But we're going to talk about creating position to get open. So the key of getting open is you want to have a wide base. And slide up just a little bit. So the key is you want to have a wide base. You don't want your feet here. You want to have your feet as wide as possible. You want to be squared up to the passer. And you also want to show your hands to the passer. So if I'm going to feed the post right here, Jake's in a good wide position. He'd be using his backside, his butt, to get into the defender. He's showing his hands. And then as the ball is fed, he's going to catch it and keep the ball tight to his body. So you've always got to have your hands ready. This could be in the post like this, um, having your hands ready. But it could also be off of a ball screen. So let's just say, um, let's go to this side. So let's say you're going to start at the elbow and you're going to come up here set a ball screen. So if Jake even comes up here and sets a ball screen and he rolls, the same principles apply of having your hands ready, knowing how to use your body to seal the defense off and all that sort of stuff. When you are receiving the pass in the post, and this is almost for any other position, what you don't want to do is retreat away from the pass because then it's going to result in a steal. So this is what a retreat would look like. Jake's on offense, Taha, you're on defense. So as I'm feeding the post, if the offensive player retreats and goes backwards, what often happens is the defense steals the ball. So you don't want to retreat. Instead, you want to, one, seal off your defender, keep your defender on the back, and then you also want to meet the pass. So let's give a good example there. Yep, so you're sealing the defender, and then you step out to meet the pass. And then from there, you can face up, back down, do whatever you want. All right, now we're going to look at specific moves of creating position. So the first one we're going to look at is a swim move. So the keys here are you don't want to push off, but you want to use one hand to kind of push the defender, but not without fouling. And then the other hand is going to swim above the defender to create position. So you'll just catch it and hold your position right here. Okay, yep, so arm goes up. Then you're now getting in front of the player. Yep, and we won't score. You can kick it back out. 
Okay, now we're going to go with a duck in a cross. So I'll have the ball up top. Jake, you're going to start right there. Taha, you're going to be in help. I'm just going to dribble over, and this could be off of a ball reversal or it could be off of a dribble, but the offensive post player is going to create position and hit this defender before the defender is able to slide over. So let's do a duck in across right here. Ready, go. Yep, so he is seeking position, and then he's sealing the defender right there. Good. Now let's go duck in up. So that was a cross. Now we're going to go duck in up. So we're going to say, um, Taha, you can be like the defender about right here. Now we want to cross, the last one we want to cross the floor. Now we're going to go up the floor. So let's just say, Jake, you're kind of at the block here. Luke, you could even slide down a little bit there. So now instead of going across, you're going up on this dribble. So it's a duck in up. I'll, once I dribble, you can go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So duck in up the lane. And Jake, take one more step back. Yeah, there we go. So duck in up. Here we go. Good. So we stepped up the lane that time instead of stepping across the lane. The next move is a high seal. So we're going to say that offense is right here and then defense, you're going to be fully fronting the post. Yep. Yeah, so you'll be fully fronting. Yeah, there we go. So you're fully fronting. Now the high seal, the explanation behind it is if I am the passer here on the perimeter, what the post player wants to do is create as much room as possible on the backside to receive the pass. Because, let's say, y'all scoot down all the way right here. If the post player is being fronted and they are very low and close to the basket, what will happen is I'll throw it up and it will hit the backboard. So what we want to do, and this is a high seal, what the post player wants to do against a front is walk this defender up without fouling. But the further up this post player can walk up the defender, now we're going to have more room on the backside to go catch the basketball. So let's just work on that, and then you can just hit a basic layup. So this is a high seal. Yep, walk him up, walk him up. Good. Then you got to create that space from the defender and go get it. Now this is kind of the opposite. This is going to be a bury. You're going to bury the defender. So instead of a front, it's going to be behind. So Taha, instead of fronting, you're behind. Now it's the exact opposite. From the defensive perspective, the defense wants to walk the offensive player out. From the offensive perspective, you want to walk the defender in as low as possible. So let's y'all start about right here. Because the offensive player, you're going to catch the ball to the rim as close as possible. So you're just going to bury him as deep to the rim as you can. Close to the rim as you can. There you go. Good. So depending on if the, off, if the defender's in front of you, you want to create more space on the backside. If they are behind you, you want to bury that defender as close to the rim as possible. Now the next one we're going to talk about creating position out of the post is screening, or sorry, sealing your defender after a down screen. So what we're going to say is I am Jake's defender. Okay, Taha, you're going to be the offensive cutter. So you're going to start about right here. And then Jake, you can just come right here. You're going to set a screen for Taha. So what we're saying is I am guarding the screener. He is coming to set a down screen right here. So once this player goes off to the corner, now after this screen, the post player's job is to now turn, create ceiling position against their own defender. So we, can, we won't have a ball, but let's just walk through that. Okay. So I'm guarding the screener, and the screener is going to screen and then seal their man. So down screen, yep, and then right there, create position. Because this is good because two defenders might slide out or there might be a switch, and then after the screen, if you can seal a defender, that's going to be a good way to create position. 